Hello. I'm going to show you um, another project I've been working on. Um, and part of that is to set up uh, dynamic form rows. And I'm using an HTML table to do that. There's probably other ways to do it, but it's the way I chose. Um, anyway, I'll show you where we're at. Started a basic uh, HTML document, an ng app. And already using the uh, angular.js from Google CDN, and then we'll make an app.js file. Do um, your basic HTML file, and we'll set up a table. We'll need a T body. We'll need a couple of those actually. That. So then we'll set up a row for our uh, column labels. I'll just call it quick. And say item name. Description field. And then let's do part number. This we're fun. Wait a minute. There, that's what we need. Create the actual fields, input fields. Put <coughs> so, call this one item name and type equals text. And let's do uh, description. Let's set the directory. Good. This is what we have so far. Uh, so then this lower T body said a button for adding the rows. Button. And Good. So it doesn't do anything, obviously. Um, so that's our table. <coughs> Let's add a app.js file and make it an Angular module. Test app is what we named it. I don't think we need to include anything. Um, so then we'll add a directive. And I just kind of learned this from egghead.io as well. So you should check out those videos for a lot better, um, a lot better introduction. Um, and row what were we? on on <coughs> introduction on directives and basically everything Angular. Very nice. Very nice tutorials. Okay, so that's a directive, and then we'll return function. Scopes. Need some scopes, I guess. I don't know if we actually use it, but. Okay. Then we want to bind to that plus button. I'll click event.
So then I want to figure out get the uh, table element in basically jQuery, but it's JQ Lite, which is the uh, embedded version of or version kind of functions of jQuery inside of Angular, which is nice to use. Instead of the dollar, you have jQuery element, and then we'll use these. So this will be the element that is in our directive, passed into directive here, because, um, or rather, so this will go parent, 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 or one, two, three. Yeah, it should be the fourth parent. Um, will be the actual table. And there's probably a better way to do this, but and you could just also include the full jQuery into your app. But I figured this would be fun to try. Mint dot parent. Parent, parent, parent. I'll just double check that. Module test that. Oops. So we have to put our head row attribute onto our button, which is good to do. Great. There we go. Then we have the table object, and we'll need that later. Um, looks like we need to know how many rows we have in the table. Again, Angular. Element table find. Um, there's a list. There's a web page on Angular. What um, jQuery functions are available in Angular from, from the JQ Lite? Um, you should definitely look that up. Um, so now we'll need a variable for figure out what basically. Basically, we're we'll doing this to be able to change the name attributes of the input fields, the next row, so that they're unique. Um, so we'll need to add one to the number of rows. Rows dot length plus one. And then next we create a new row. New row equals um, in Angular element, is I uh, first row or one that clone so that should give us our new row and then you want to find the inputs in that row. Then we'll loop through those inputs for x equals zero. X. This is an input stopped length. I don't really don't like these, but or this kind of for loop, like more of a for each, but it'll work. So then var input equals zero dot element uh, inputs. X. So that'll be our actual input value. And then there we can do the attribute function method, whatever we call it, name and input attribute. We're gonna keep this the same thing. And add our number. I'm gonna clear them all out too, so attribute. 
value is blank. And finally, we need to paste it onto the end of the table. Table.children. Here we go. So this would be the first T body element um, up here, which is why we have two T bodies. And just go right nicely onto the end of that row. Body zero. Um, that append. Zero. Let me make sure this will work. Okay. Make that work. Which small object has no method clearing? And 13. Just check and take a look. Okay, so what rows one is. Is it TR? Yeah. Oh. Need to, need to move our Angular to element to a new location. Parentheses there. There we go. So now you can add forms in if you look at the actual values. You can see it's not right. Ah, because I forgot the equal sign. So, still worky worky. And now we have item name 4. It's not really sequential, but it doesn't really matter for my purposes. And item from name 5. So, that's pretty much it. I hope it was helpful. Um, this code is also in my stuff repository. Feel free to check it out. Thank you. Already on.